Okay, so uh, between yesterday and today, I added uh, another set of uh, these tests where instead of just doing bunches of 512, it's doing a bunches of 16. And unfortunately, I have found an actual case where my new form of uh, the allocation pool is indeed significantly slower than the map type. Specifically, like, uh, yeah, like twice as slow during uh, for int, nearly three to four times for custom and similar for the multi-type. This is unfortunate. And while, like, the larger groups of 512 and all are, in, well, at least the 512 groups were faster, the smaller groups are slower, which is a problem because the smaller groups are going to be the more commonplace items that we're going to have to be dealing with. <clears throat> and this is incredibly uh, not what I'm uh, looking for, looking at, wanting at all. So, <clears throat> well, I need to make some modifications, obviously, obviously to the uh, template to, to counteract this. So, uh, these are all staged, yeah. Okay. <sighs> Insertion. An idea I do have would be to what okay what about different case where I can uh, is there like a standard lower bound I can probably do standard lower bound um, in like in it equals standard lower bound between where I am right now and the end, in end iterator. Let's actually, let's, let's see how that goes. Uh, that doesn't go actually at all because I need the uh, item to actually. No, 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 no. It's the other way around. This, that's what I'm looking for. And I'm looking between this and this. Let's see if I can actually cancel all the other cases. Slightly faster to run. Insert groups of 16. Ends about here. And just goes to basically to the end. Nope. Uh, PID equals that. Yeah, that makes sense. That's basically, that did nothing. I thought that would, would have done something to speed things up, but it's just not, not happening. Okay, let's uh, really crunch down the uh, case a little bit. Don't need to do 64 runs. We can do maybe eight runs. Yeah, it's a lot faster. Still, we got like a three times. Yeah, so it's actually bringing it down even further. Yeah, two to three times. Okay, that's still the starting case. So we do this. What do we got?
This is a li this is slower. So this was actually a good idea to have. But it's not enough. Okay, let, let's double check that. There is an improvement. Just not to not enough. Hmm. So what about, here's an idea. Should I move away from, okay, if I reset this, reset this, I'm thinking of the possibility of actually changing up what I'm using for the insertion pool, the inser insertion storage. Could I use this pool store as insertion storage as well? Where the hell is it? Here we go, insert, here. Would there be any real improvement? Here's something I can do really quickly, actually. Standard map. I can do that, and then I can run unique on it. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to re-enable the other insertions. Insert, insert, insert all to iteration. Okay. Make sure I got a baseline here. Hmm. Then I'm going to try a different type. Standard vector, which is going to be a standard tuple. Pro ID, a standard tuple, a subtuple of components. That M2 insert. Okay. This would be the same here. I don't have the automatic. Hmm. What would happen? I would have to in here. We need to sort. Do anything. Uh, 
up? The answer is no. Turn one, two, three. Yeah, we got a third one. Do that. No. He doesn't like that. Why? Oh, no, no. It'd be in place back, wouldn't it? Whoops. Nope. Crap, I've lost. Uh, give me somewhere to start. Okay. Can I do a standard pair? Would that work? I'm trying to see if I get if I move this stuff into contiguous memory. Iterator, less iterator. No, that doesn't work. Okay, what if <clears throat> we had a predicate? Look at that. Hmm? Um, oh, we're going to do this one again. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. No member name. Okay, actually, yes, maybe. Okay. Uh, place back. This iterator less here. Oh, wait, no, this. Okay, there's less. Now we're complaining about this, which makes sense. that get that okay okay and place back why 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 what's this Ah. T 
standard tuple of that, that, that. Close that up. I think that's what it is. Yeah, tuple, tuple. We go down here. So we're moving first. Single in place. That was the ID. going on standard unique <clears throat> same thing as this basically you need a custom predicate that that next issue there is no next issue okay um Put that in. I don't remember this being almost 10 times. Like, I really don't. Stash that stuff. Run around this. I mean, I don't think like the one I was looking for is improved. But improved to something else. Or not. Is it broken? What? It's taking way too long. Ooh, crap, 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 crap. Yeah, okay. Um... Stash pop. Put that up. Do 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 do. Whoops, wrong one. Do do do. Get stash. Make that stuff. I think I just came up on a much. Ooh. Yes, I actually made a massive optimization in another way, maybe. I mean, it's not an optimization for, like, the, the close-together ints. That's about the same. It's like a 4 to 1, maybe. Mm. Oh, but that's... Wait, no, this is the original case. So this... Um, that, that. So it's a bit slower on that, so not great. It's quite a bit... It's a, yeah, about... It's twice as fast. Mm, several times faster and definitely a lot faster on these larger cases so actually yeah 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 this is let's get a second Like, wow, yeah, in, for the insert calls, it's way faster if I don't sort it at the end. Way faster. Okay, so this is a, this is a very nice improvement I want to keep. Okay, um, hmm. I kind of want to keep track of these things.
<sighs> okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get stash. I already, yeah. So undo these last two commits. I'm going to I'm going to put these in a more uh, final location right now before I do anything else. Cuz obviously I'm going to want to keep the these pools around. I just want to kind of have them in a more final spot rather than in the very end here. So Fo doesn't make sense. Fo ECS actually makes the most sense. It'll be here. Like, it'll be data pool. I don't want to say component data pool. But there can be a component data pool and a resource data pool. No, the resources need to be static in memory. I can't have them moving around. Because they will need direct pointers to each other for speed. The data is not, does not. Hmm. Okay, we'll just say data pool. Data. Data pool. Put it in there. Going to move this thing. Okay, we also need some minor items. Okay, we need multi alloc storage. Storage, we'll say single. Whoops. Yeah. Single alloc. Variadic multi alloc. I mean, I, yeah. Don't want to put it in the subfolder. Really? I don't know. Multi alloc storage. Or just kind of, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I don't want to overload. I do really don't want to overload this area. Now that I think about it. Because it really is an implementation detail kind of thing. Not something that most people would use. But I need it because it's a template. A data store. Yeah, we, we can call that single and multi alex store. Or storage, whatever. Multi allocation storage. Get this. Put it in multi alloc here. I'm going to rename it so it's <clears throat> for ECS. Multi store, multi alloc store. Store or storage? multi alloc pool data store it's not really a pool by itself it's just a bunch of dumb uh, dumb storage There's very little action going on in here, so I think I'll keep it like that. This is a whole bunch of... Hmm. Ah, whatever. This, go to here, single allocation storage.
why are these all lowercase? Fold single alloc storage. Okay. Bam. Got capacity, lowercase get get okay. <clears throat> capacity of zero. moment yeah okay we go back down to data pool which is the state pool allocation template Actually, I'm half tempted to move this into just the faux area. Uh, I don't really want to overload that area. ECS, I mean, most other things will bring in ECS as well, wouldn't it? Hmm. Okay, I'll just leave this here. Data pool. We need... Copyright. I need a lot of documentation for this. Uh, actually, it's not even that bad. Holy crap, it's 480 lines plus 140 lines. That's it. It's actually not too bad. And that's also because I moved some of these things out of here. And I got like a bunch of extra lines of verbose nonsense. Simplicity. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> I need to put some stuff in the test side. So, uh, multi allocation storage, single allocation, that, that, mm, that. We need a map template on that, and we need to test seed, but not quite yet. this oh yes we do don't really care about this actually get rid of that wait for it to process This is in all this stuff, so we need custom int and 
go to single allocation storage, index generator, okay. Especially since it's tied in to, well actually these data pool, this these storage really aren't tied to here at all. Well, I will move them out of here. They go to foe. Goodbye. No. Go to there. out there no <clears throat> storage systems put them in there I mean they're fully variadic so really put in there Array, C standard def, C standard lib, and tuple. Do I even use? Yeah, I use tuple for that. C standard lib, and okay, I'll just assume I these are all very required. And same thing here. Okay, uh, that means I need to move down these two into test of that. Subdirectory after log. Uh, these would also need to say, hey, I need to get from foe uh, storage multi alloc. here right multi yeah these two these two are gone now so it's just these uh, these this is taking in from Did I rename this? Not quite yet. Uh, 
uh, using and then template. So that's backwards. Mm, not cool. A bunch of stuff is broken. No template named. Yeah, okay. Oh, so this is just be like, I just need to call faux multi alloc storage. That should fix that up. Super nice. Right? Yeah. So these, and then I want to do like test. Uh, what do I want to put the benchmark? Would that be under test? I mean, that's not like the thing we run for CI, CD. It's like something else. Okay, under CPP pitchfork. Project layout conventions. So if that's going to come along, pitchfork layout, include test examples, external data, extras. Submodule root, eh, whatever. It really would be under extras, really. Okay, new directory. Low battery. Are you kidding me? that uh, this is where we're going to put in this is where this is going into here I'm gonna get the benchmark I get this I'm gonna get this put them in here Faux ECS does not currently bring in Faux, does it? No, it does. Okay, so I don't have to worry about that. Let's do this. Needs Faux ECS, though. ECS, data pool. Probably also want the ability to turn on and off extras. Much like these. So build examples, build extras. We'll do that separately. For I've got too much stuff going on right now as it is. So make dash J. Ooh, yeah. Because I changed it up to be that. rid of this I'm 
multi alloc store. Uh, okay, just leave them there for the moment. State pool alloc. Yeah, there's not longer that. Mm. Reference pool map template. So this is. doesn't require this at all. Terrible nonsense this is. It's swapped around again from the first to the last one. Okay, I'm going with the last one, okay? It's accepting the last one. Wait, what? Oh no, 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 no. It's inserting all three for some reason. Ah, uh, okay. That's a problem. Get rid of these multi single state 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 multi pool. Okay, we get back to just group data, which is what was there in the first place. Okay. So we got a problem. With the st with the unique just not working, standard unique. Predicate predicate. What does a predicate need to look like? Algorithm. Unique. I must be misreading how this works. They are used compared using operator equals equals. If it is not an equivalent operation. Starting to get zero and zero, yeah. A and B, okay. Okay, what if let's flip it. Let's flip the script. doing the same thing. Um, okay, I need to go back into debug mode. So. And I need to make sure. Address sanitization. 
pause while this happens. Okay, yeah, it's back online. So let's change this up to be using build test um, libs OECS test. Do that. We're going to be going into here. Begin and end. Yes, 16, 16, and 16. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was that's me. That's me. That's me. I need to erase the elements. There we go. I got a gift. RPG fans. Demio. Huh. Sorry, someone just sent me a Steam gift. Hmm. Time to find out. Download Demio now. Okay. Uh, I need to pause while I start downloading this. Okay, and back to work. That's now testing positive again. So, that was basically moving everything that was of value over. So, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to take all these and trash them. Okay, that really cuts things down. Let's get rid of these items like that. Okay, so let's double check what we've got Git log here. Okay. We'll put in, what is this? Don't care about that. Single allocation, allocation for test storage stuff. Okay. New storage It's not really a container because it's not really complete. It's just a just it's not like a container you can interact with. It's just like it just gives you blocks of memory. Just you know it's an open box. It just says, you know, or it's not even that, it's a hole. It's a hole in the grass that says throw whatever you want in there. It's a landfill. In the same index. Contiguous. Then we have the data pool.
I'm using to achieve higher performance. Characteristics, which needs a new line. Benchmark for new data fuel type. We can switch the data pool. may not be desired results because the last result I did it was uh, way just an accident. Um, okay, that. Okay, let's close all these up. I don't actually need to know about this right now. This is, don't need that. And this is what we need right here. Data pool, amazing. Data pool, amazing. That is just nothing. Ooh, crap. Uh, yeah, I need to. You fix up that. <coughs> stage of development. Yeah, okay. Fix that up. Lost 
dog. Uh, remove top organization. It's not useful. Come on. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Back to what I was doing in the first place. Improvements. Otherwise, I mean, I did do this. What was it? Libs, Louis, yes, extras. Got them on both sides. I don't know why it's taking so long. Oh, it's in debug mode. Right. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, first of all, it's going to be that. I need to check against release speed. None of this extra stuff on going on. While that's happening, we can do build extras. This is here. Okay, uh, is this the one? Or is this one? This, one, this must have been it, right? 64, 32, or what was it? 32? Oof. Okay, this is what this is a thread ripper, so <clears throat> this is well this is a thread ripper one, so four years old now, but it's still pretty up there. Okay. It's uh say sixteen. Sixteen or eight is probably it's enough to determine things, isn't it? Okay, yeah, I can definitely uh, shrink down a little bit more. So it's nothing outrageous. So having these should still provide enough variability to determine differences.
Maybe not quite that. Well, I mean, it's enough. It it really is enough, isn't it? Okay, we'll do that. So benchmark. F. Oh no no no! Don't can don't do that. That, 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 that. So now we've come full circle back to where what I wanted to do in the first place, which was improve uh, the maintenance insertion performance uh, compared to standard map, if possible. Now I had this where it's basically a two and a half to one, two and a third to one. I had what was it? I had this where it was like P I D. No, not not here. Here. So we'll do two or three runs of this. Just enough to fill this up. So two. Okay, two runs is enough to fill it up. So we got PID equals standard lower bound of starting at PID P end ID we're looking for in it looking for this value So there's no real difference on the 512, which is good. I like that. No real difference on the insert call. Yeah, that makes sense. And seemingly no real difference on insert maintenance all. But there is an improvement on the, the small case, which is a which is very good. So like this. Can I do the same thing on the removals, actually? That, that does kind of be, that is a good question. And I think it should be possible, really, realistically. There's not really that much time spent on these. Let's see if I can get a bit more entropy into the system. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Okay, that looks a bit better. So in the removal call, can I do the same thing here? So this basically becomes pointless, actually. Because it will always be the lower bound. It's either the value or underneath it. So then we'd have to increment it by one anyways, and then continue. Oh, no, no, so this does actually serve a purpose. Okay, uh, let's do this here. Can I get it from like six? Six, four milliseconds down a little bit more on the removals. Oof. That'll be a no. No, this, that looks terrible. That is way worse. No, 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 no. Goodbye. What the? Like. Twenty. See, these cases, the old cases are fine. Minus one. I don't know why. It's so much slower. But it certainly was. Remove maintenance cycle. Just that binary search there is just not, it's not, not cool. This I'll keep. Uh, unless... What else can I do to reduce the speed or reduce the performance? Or not reduce performance, improve performance, reduce time. For insertions. No doubt this is kind of taking a little bit of time. Is there a reason to... Actually, that's a question and a half. I wonder what would happen if, let's say, iteration 9 to 0. I'm wondering if I, I use the supposedly newer, more improved rude, unordered map. 
I know like this uses way more memory, but I'm just interested in what would actually happen. Yes, 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 yes. Leave these two alone. Iteration is indeed improved. A whole bunch of things are actually improved. Basically across the board. Again, at the cost of much higher memory, if I recall correctly. Because the thing about this, these data pools is that they are fast, but they also basically use no extra memory whatsoever for, for most for most of the time it's just literally the data and that's it there's no housekeeping beyond like the extra 380 odd bytes for the the storage members themselves and some other stuff like the actual data is just really hmm I'm still I've still got improvements across the board. So I'm still happy with that. Oh, I've got an even harder time to deal with for the unordered map for this. Okay, okay. Oh well, actually that's slower. Okay, but this this one case, this is a big case. I need to <clears throat> I need I need to do something better. But what? When doing the binary search kind of brought it down a little bit, but nowhere near enough. Is there something I can use to bring that up? Determine time spent in function. Measure execution time. Oh, this is just using standard chrono. Okay, I need to I need to figure out a way. Let's just put this to the right. I need to actually like instrument the inside of this. Like what is taking the most amount of time and narrow it down. It's not this, right? Better not be. I'll just I have to instrument it. <clears throat> Meaning, uh, some new items. We'll just have a struct, a public struct. So we're going to have standard milliseconds. I can actually get rid of map while I'm here. Okay, what do we got? 
sort unique, uh, prep, prep data. Which really, hmm. Nope, 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 nope. I have an idea, but I'm going to actually go follow through with this instrumentation. Prep data. Um, placement, no. Figure out the destinations, which is this area. Okay, I don't need to worry about that either anymore. If nothing's being inserted, just skip out of that. No seconds restore the size. Moving. Okay. Uh. Easy clock. Add it. We'll have it here. Clock.update, we got clock.update right about here. It's time dot prep data plus equals clock dot elapsed. Okay. So then we got this right here without that right here destinations resize which I really doubt is the problem here. And then at the outside. Put this in a neutral location up here. And then for the benchmark. Oh, I'll need something. I mean, this is really the case I really care about here, so I'll just do it here.
is it this one or it'll be this one custom yeah here we go you do it that many times time plus equals test dot time okay can I get a plus equals on this thing Would be able to handle this, but it can't. that one two three four five how many was it one two three four five yeah five prep See how this breaks. It breaks very quickly from that. Nope, 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 nope. No, I don't need all this. I just need this. Why the number so high? Oh, 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 uh, it should be zeroed out. What are you talking about? Negative time? Are you kidding me? First of all, it's not the right one. Secondly, if OECS extras.
come on. Extras. Extras. Hmm. I need to build debug mode. Hold on. Okay, uh, we're here. Now, uh, time is zero. We're adding something, right? Yeah. So at the end, as slow as it may be, it should be a positive number. A positive number. Think positive. Think very positive. Think incredibly positive. Oh, that's going to take too long. Uh, let me rebuild release with debug. Hmm. Okay, that didn't really solve it. Oh no! I didn't time. I didn't zero out this one, did I? Where is it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, just yeah. Okay. Go back to release. Ignore me. I'm just being a moron. Doesn't know how to do anything on the first try. Today, I did something the first. I did a lot of this first try. I like that. But not everything. Okay, there we go again. That's, uh,. Let's uh, this one. Let's have this. Build it. Run it. Show me the times. Okay. So it's... What is it? Time. Prep time. Four milliseconds. Destination's 21. Story size 5. 515 is moving. By... Far most of it is moving. Okay. And reversing is nothing. So reversing doesn't matter. But by far that moving section is what's really killing it. If I was just to take this out, just theoretically, <clears throat> can I get much of an improvement in the moving section? Like what part of the moving section is the most? Is it the multi-move or the single in place? 543, yeah, that had no effect. I can't remove these without causing issues. Okay, let's do a subsection. Can I do like a subclock? I'm going to get rid of the reversing one. So we're going to have a subclock that sits around this guy. Multi-move, 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 and we're going to put it in here as multi-move. Okay, show me a difference, please. Like, is it this one or this one that's causing the issue? Seven milliseconds on multi-move, so it's a single in place.
Because it... That wouldn't have affected too much in the grand scheme of things. Right. Seven milliseconds. Like, really? That's just really efficient. Then what's going on in this? Okay, what if, Okay, let's move the subclock around that instead then. Yeah, release mode, no, yeah. Hmm. Is there a time stamp that's smaller than a nanosecond I can read? Chromium? Corono, 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 time, Chrono. Where are you? Date and time, okay. Nanoseconds is the smallest. Hmm. Okay, what about this? Just do that. Like, what's... Point me in the direction of what is taking the time. Six. There's no way it says anything else, right? M inserted offsets is already reserved to the size, so that's not it. I mean, it must just have issues. Is it anywhere even close? Seven. Okay. Uh, what? Okay, no, something else is going on here. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm using the wrong clock. Like a moron. This is, this is good. Classic wrong variable used. I want the subclock, please. Now let's get some real data. Ah, okay, here we go. It's the multi-move that's costing all, that's just the big cost here, which I, makes sense. And then if we were to put subclock around this, 
It's basically a few milliseconds out of the whole thing. Yeah. So I need to focus on the multi-move. I need some kind of... What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Because it was while I pace around. One is the cost is the fact that. I'm always operating based on the end. So if something's at the beginning, then I have to move the entire the entire array backwards by one. And that's going to cost time regardless. I mean, it, it's cheap, of course, if it's at like the end. But not if, but anything other than at that end is expensive. And it gets more expensive the earlier into the um, memory that it goes. What if, what if I could uh, maybe half that? Can I half that? Reduce the cost of moving items by having it in some kind of a weird floating memory. Like I have, if I have 10 items, and then I put it in a memory allocation that's size for 20. So, and then I put it in the middle. So it starts at like location five and goes to location 15. That means I can, sh I can increase the mo if, if it's like at position 11 that I need to add, I only need, need to shift six, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Because if it's at the beginning, rather than having to shift everything, I don't even have to shift one half back by one. And then the same thing on the other side. I'd only have to move things for, you know, do what I already do, where I'm moving the array on the back side. But I can at least maybe reduce the cost of, work, of operating on the front half of the memory of the allocation of the objects by having it in some kind of weird floating mechanism. Hmm. Um, hmm. But that would also require me to figure out I mean, it's quite possible, quite plausible. That may explain why the, that, so that's why these other ones down here are nowhere near as expensive. It's because they're just, they're just moving everything far less times. Overall, because every insert pass moves everything at most one time. It's just that because I'm, I have so many small insertion maintenance cycles that I'm moving everything up to everything almost every single time, way more times. 
So that becomes more expensive in the long run. But if I do, uh, okay, this is really starting to bend my mind. I'm really thinking about this this floating memory system, floating memory implementation. Because I can't really do much. I have to move things almost all the time, unless they're at the very beat, unless like it's at the end right now. And doing this maybe halves the cost. And maybe I can get away with like things at the beginning mean I don't have, I have to move a lot less, generally I would have to move a lot less, less often. That's a double win. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm going to stop, grab a drink, and think this over even harder for some kind of basic implementation details, and then I'll come back, all right? All right, cheers. Okay, what if, hmm. Before I do the floating memory, perhaps it would be best, what if, okay, what other ones do I have? Prep, destinations. Destinations is surrounding this, right? No, that's this. What about this, 10 milliseconds for story size? Hmm. This is something I, okay. This is actually one I can do really easily. What I, okay, yeah. So let's just double check. I got 10 milliseconds, 11. Can I do the same thing here? On this one, perhaps? Custom. Or insert maintenance calls. Insert maintenance 512. Okay, let's do, the, let's do, let's get a second set of data I can look at. Thirteen, fifteen. Okay, so it's fairly consistent, which makes sense because it's reallocating every eight thousand items right now. Okay, but this is still something I can very easily fix up because what I'm thinking of is I have a pool store pointer. Hmm. No, I don't want to have this in I don't want to have this outside. I just want to keep it on the stack. So I'll have a new store. Currently, it's the M main storage. If we need a new one, then it becomes this. <clears throat>
rather than do the multi-move here, I'm thinking we can just keep the bump. Since we're going to have both of them in memory at the same time anyways, I can just like read from the old memory and move things in. We already have the source locations and the destinations. So the destination is this P new store. Everything's getting moved over. Then afterwards, the given offset will be zero. So then we just multi move. Last moved old item. Source equals zero, destination equals zero plus accumulated distance, number to move. Multi move. The last items. If P new store dot equals and, and main storage. So the new story is not the same, then we have to do the move. And main storage of possible new store. And then we have this one last thing. Standard move. Oh yeah. Does that work? No idea. If that's the case, I should actually Seg fault instead. Classic. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. That's a new destination. Always. There we go. Okay. So it was mm, 11, 10, 15. Okay, it's 10 to 15. Let's see if that improves reallocation speed. That massively improved the reallocation speed to basically zero. Because again, we're not. Instead of before, I was. I kept saying like we only move things once. We only move things once in this phase and once in this phase. But now it's once all together both faces together are merged into one And 
it is it is zero now right compared to yeah 10 15 improvements improvements iterative improvements I need a new resize storage Improve this. You only need to do this if that, otherwise, this. Make sure that's <coughs> still close to zero. Yes. Five forty one to four ninety five twelve. Okay, no, of course this is zero milliseconds. The changeover has been moved over here, maybe? Okay, 580, 540, 524, compared to 490, 512, 573. So, eh, it basically is kind of a wash. With again most of the time being that that okay no but the di real difference is here ten milliseconds and ten milliseconds. Compared to what was it? Ten milliseconds, ten milliseconds. Okay, yeah, yeah. So this is a solid improvement here. So let's get that in. So what was this? data Forms
Take that. I don't need that. Select that. Shared mutex. Mutex. I don't even... I will. Vector I use. Don't want time. <clears throat> when a Insertion. Nope. Yes. Okay. Save that. Save this, whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One thing I just r realized is there's a possibility that the expansion rate is like just way too low or way too high for the test to actually take uh, work effectively. So I'm going to do this where I'm going to make sure it reallocates at least once for that uh, test that goes up to 20. Yeah, okay. Simple enough. So if 
I'm gonna put that one in. Now, uh, the big one really is going to be the floating storage. Like even now, a subclock of having to move everything. I mean. If I'm changing storage, I gotta move everything once, anyways. Um, which is unfortunate, yes. Okay, floating storage, floating storage, or floating memory. Ah, uh, whatever. What would I have to do? I'd have to... Hmm. Okay, I think I've done enough for now. I mean, I still want to do floating me memory, but that's probably going to be... That's going to be several hours at least. And I've, I've done enough for today. So I'll leave this as it is here for today with some minor... Mo uh, updates, modifications, and optimizations and improvements as a mostly yeah, because the only case I really still have to worry about is this especially for the larger allocations, this is the big one it's still lower than the maps yeah, calling it a day, cheers <laughs>